why members of this committee the controversy over comments made by freshman Representative Ilhan Omar culminated Thursday in a House of Representatives resolution denouncing anti-Semitism, Islamophobia and white supremacy. The Minnesota representative came under fire last month after appearing on a panel in which he questioned why it's, quote, okay to push for allegiance to a foreign country. In the context of the discussion, that country was understood to be Israel, and her question seen by some as anti-Semitic. The resolution does not name Omar, a Muslim American, and prior to bringing it to the House floor Thursday, Speaker Nancy Pelosi said this. I feel confident that her words were not based on any anti-Semitic attitude, but that she didn't have a full appreciation of how they landed on other people where this, these words have a history and a cultural impact that might have been unknown to her. Omar has been critical of Israel in the past, prompting Republicans to insist she be removed from the House Foreign Affairs Committee and backlash from President Trump. Among those who have come to her defense, fellow freshman Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who tweeted, quote, where are the resolutions against homophobic statements for anti-blackness, for xenophobia? Adding, if we called resolutions on sexist statements, a good chunk of Congress would be gone. Pelosi on Thursday said that despite believing Omar's latest comments were not intended to be anti-Semitic, the House had an obligation to, quote, remove all doubt. If that's how it was interpreted.